got to have that. Now, I see six free agent wide receivers who could succeed Tyreek. Um, and, and when I say succeed, I mean, if we got them on this squad, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're young enough to succeed him in the same type of scheme. So that is going to be uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown from Pompano. From the Cardinals, 26 years old, 5'9", 191 pounds. I don't know what the Cardinals are going to try to do, but shit. We could, we could add him to the squad. He'll be 26 years old. If Tyreek Hill going to leave in, in two years, if he going to flex in two years, shit. Marquise Brown will be 28 at that point. He'll be able to run them same plays Tyreek Hill ran. Um, LaVisca Chenault, he's another wide receiver I think we should consider. 25 years old, 6 foot 1, 220 pounds. We could probably use him in the slot as that third wide receiver. He got break tackle ability, and he's he's dynamic. Uh, another wide receiver I got on my free agent board, Darnell Mooney from the Bears, 26 years old, 5 foot 11, 173 pounds. I don't think the Bears been using him right. He, if they they could use him just like how the Texans use Tank Dell and how we use Reek, he's another one that could be a successor. Um, Devin Duvernay from the Ravens, 26 years old, 5'11", 202 pounds. Miko Hartman, he played with Tariq, 25 years old, 5'10", 187 pounds. These guys are young. Van Jefferson from the Rams, 27 years old, 6 foot 1, 201 pounds. He could play that rice receiver role and be in the slot or motion from the boundary to the slot. Um and I would say that the receiver that I'm interested in the most though, and I, and I, I there's some other ones on here. Gabe Davis, he's six foot two. I don't know what the Bills gonna do with him. We might might want to look at him. Jamal Agnew, Jamal Agnew, twenty eight years old, five foot ten, one hundred and eighty five pounds. We need to add him to this roster. Fuck all the other ones I said. He should be the receiver we add. Jamal Agnew, he'll be a smart addition because his greatest value comes from his ability as a returner, and that's what we need. Now that we know Berrios is not going to be with us, Jamal Agnew will be a perfect fit, and I think that Mike McDaniel will be able to utilize him on offense. Last year, he ranked fifth in kick return average and ninth in punt return average. He's also showcased and showed his development as an offensive weapon as well. He could take it the distance from anywhere on the field, and he could give us more more than than what I think Selvin Ahmed could give us, uh, you know, in, in the running game as well if we was to give him the ball. Um, and I don't think it's... I, I think we wouldn't even have to pay him that much. Maybe $5 million, He'll take that. He was, he was going to get $2 million with the Jags. Um, I think we're going to have to think about restructuring Tyreek Hill's deal. That'll make the most sense for our future plans because... Um, you know, if 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 we get two wide receivers in this draft, which I think we should consider, that's why I think we need to add more picks. We can try to if we don't get one in free agency, we got to get a six foot two, six foot three wide receiver, two hundred to two hundred and thirty pounds, and a kick returner. We got to add that. 